you want to know how to start a YouTube channel. You want to post your first video. That is why you are here today. Well, stay to the end of this video so you can bypass some beginner mistakes and learn how to create your first YouTube channel and your first video in the optimum order. The first step is extremely simple. You want to go onto YouTube and create a YouTube account. You may already have a YouTube account. You're watching this on YouTube. You can post from this same account. You may even need to bypass this section because you've already done it. So that's a very easy one, create a YouTube account. This next step on starting your YouTube journey, creating your first channel and creating your first video is an optional one. You don't need this, the stars will not align, so you do not need this, so do not worry if you cannot do this. First of all, buy yourself a microphone. A very cheap microphone is perfectly fine. You'll hardly tell the difference between an expensive and a cheap one. So buy a cheap microphone. Buy yourself a key light. This is a big light that sits right here and it goes straight onto my face. This puts me as a focus on the video and takes away the focus from the background in the video. I think this is a game changer. I think you can really look amateur without it. Let's have a look. So if I just, I'm going into amateur mode now. So now I look really amateur here in this situation. We've got a shadow coming down from the light above me. You can see it falling on my chest. It really just doesn't work. So having a key light is a good idea, but it also builds your confidence having a key light. You actually feel like you are a YouTuber, like you are someone who's good on camera. You feel like you're more natural in front of the camera when you see yourself with a key light. So that's my recommendation. Get cheap ones, go on Facebook Marketplace, go on Craigslist or whatever is in your country. Go on these, get something secondhand. Honestly, you do not need to spend hardly any money on this at all spend 40 pounds if you want to it's optional but i recommend it as the next step the next step now is to identify what you are good at what is the thing that you like to do that you are good at do you have any hobbies or what is your profession these are usually the things that you are good at identify the things that you are good at because your best bet is to create videos on these topics, the ones that you are good at. You can also create topics of journeys of things that you're not good at. Your journey from being terrible at that thing to being really good at that thing. I am creating a journey of how to start riding a motorbike. I've never ridden a motorbike. This is going to be a crazy one for me. I've ne as of recording, I've never ridden a motorbike and I'm going to go through the journey passing my test, passing my, getting my full license and getting my first motorbike. If you want to get involved with that journey as well, then join that playlist. I've created a playlist with that. Join that playlist and enjoy those videos as well. But coming back now to creating your first YouTube video, creating your first channel, find a thing that you are good at or the journey of something that you are learning and progressing towards. Find that thing, identify that thing before you start recording. The next step is after you've identified what you are good at, what you want to start talking about on your YouTube channel, write down some bullet points of topics that you want to talk about in your video. This will keep you on track of talking and not just going off on a tangent. That can happen sometimes, but don't worry. Go back and stick to the bullet points. Read through those bullet points. Just have like three, four, five bullet points of things that you want to talk about in the video make them short, make them sweet. These are just little reminders to keep you on topic in your video. Now that you know what you're talking about and you've written down your bullet points, you want to insert bullet points in between these topics that you want to talk about. I'll give you a couple of tips. The first one, at the very beginning, you want to introduce your video with the title of the video. For example, the title of this video is how to start YouTube. So I will start this video by saying, you want to know how to start YouTube or even just how to start YouTube. Say that you're confirming that the topic and the title match and they are clicking on the right thing when they click on your video. So when someone clicks on your video, they get instant confirmation that the thing that they wanted to find out in the video, they're going to find that out in the video. So you want to introduce the video usually with the title. Then right next to that, you want to create curiosity. Tell them what they're going to find out in this video. So by the end of this video, you will know how to create a YouTube channel, 
create your first video in the optimum order and you will bypass those beginner mistakes. This is what I said at the start of this video. This is creating that curiosity and telling someone what they're going to get by watching this video start to finish. They know by the end of it, they will have consumed all the information they need to know. This will keep them enticed throughout the video and usually stop someone clicking off at the very beginning. So you want to introduce the video, confirmation of what's in the video, tell them what they will achieve by watching the video all the way to the end. We're going to insert that bullet point before we start talking about our video topic. Midway, but slightly towards the end, most of the way into the video, you want to ask and remind the watcher, the viewer, to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. You also want to prompt them to leave a comment. So I'm going to do this live for you right now. I'm going to give you a prompt and you can kind of learn from this prompt. Is there any topic that we've spoken about in this video that you want to know more about? You want a bigger deep dive into that topic? Then leave a comment in the section below, letting me know what you want me to deep dive into so we can create another video on that in future. There you go, that was live. That is the call to action of leaving a comment in the section below because a lot of people will watch these videos, they'll hear a step and go, I kind of get it, but I need, I need to know more put that in the comment section below. If you are enjoying this video, do not forget to like and subscribe to this video. Click the notification bell for more videos like this that you might think are useful on your journey going forward as well. By clicking the notification bell, you will get active notifications to say when I post my next video, so you can be one of the first to watch that video. This next step is a call to action. You probably want to do this on your second video. It doesn't really work on your first video, but it's a call to action at the end of the video. You are going to ask them to watch and keep them engaged in your channel by asking them to watch the next video. So you could say something like, this video today is how to start YouTube, how to post your first video. If you want to know how I started YouTube and follow me from the very beginning, click on this video here. See what I did there? That's the call to action. Click on this video here and binge it from the beginning. And there you go. Put that as a bullet point towards at the very, very end of your video. That will keep people engaged in your video at the end. Not only have they reached the end of your video, they're actually going into another video and you are creating a loyal subscriber base here by doing something like this and keeping them engaged in your channel. You want to keep them engaged in your video and at the end of the video, you want to keep them engaged in your channel. So create those bullet points. You've got your topics of conversation you've put at the beginning create curiosity and confirm what's in the video in the middle, but maybe slightly later, ask people to like, subscribe and click the notification bell and give that call to action of leaving a comment in the section below at the very end of the video to keep that viewer interested in your channel, give them that call to action to click on this video to continue watching your channel. So you've input those in between the sections in your topics of conversation. Your topics of conversation are whatever they are, whatever you are good at. So we don't, we're not gonna change them. You want to get that knowledge forward. You now know everything that you want to talk about in your video. You are thinking this is the time that I need to start recording the video. Well, I'm gonna tell you to stop. Stop right there. No, 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 you're jumping the gun. This is a beginner error. Nope, you're not doing that. What I want you to do now, now you know what you're going to talk about. Now you need to make your thumbnail. You're front running this. The thumbnail is along with the title is the biggest thing that you can do to get viewers, to get people clicking on your channel. So now before recording, before recording, you're going to create your thumbnail. I want you to make your thumbnail very basic, extremely basic, no more than three things on the thumbnail. I also want you to spend twice as long on the thumbnail than you thought you was going to. A lot of people just do a screenshot of the person in the video while recording the video. That is not good enough. Again, some people might watch it, but if you want a lot of views, if that is something that you want, you want to spend a lot of time on your thumbnail. Make sure your thumbnail is extremely bright with contrasting colors, bright red, bright blue, you know, something like that. Contrasting colors and very basic. If you are writing something in that thumbnail, make sure it's super basic. Can someone read it and understand it and know what's in the video? within two seconds of looking at that thumbnail. 
we have to go into the psychology this is what happens people scroll you'll have one to two seconds on their screen before they scroll past it so you need to be very colorful bright with contrasting colors make it simple and make the words short basic and brief you can put more information in the title you are just gaining their attention at first so attention okay i'm intrigued now i'll read the title okay that's something i want to view this is what you want from your thumbnail so you're spending time now creating your bright simple basic thumbnail that is the next step before we start filming we're going to create the thumbnail if you do your thumbnail after you'll have much less energy when you're recording a video it does sap your energy by the end of it you have much less energy by the time you've recorded the video, you've edited the video, you have a lot less energy and a lot of people, a lot of beginners go to the thumbnail at this point and think, oh, I just want to make it simple. And that's all they do. They just make the simple thumbnail that has put no time and energy into it. Because the thumbnail is the biggest thing that can drive people to watching your video, you want to focus your early energy when you've got most of the energy in the day, you want to focus it in the thumbnail first before starting your video. So this step is make sure you do your thumbnail before your video. The next step is the one that you've been waiting for. Press record. Get your phone, hold it out, press record and start talking about the things on your bullet point. Work your way through them. If you want, you can do it all in one long video or you can make a, a separate small video for each bullet point if you want. Just take it one step at a time. You can always edit these together at the end. So just press record, start recording. It does not matter if you mess up because you can just delete it. That's it. You post it when you're ready. Start recording, work your way through your bullet points and once you've got the end of them and you've got everything out of your mind that you wanted to talk about, there you go, you finally finished recording your first video. Congratulations, that is a big one. You haven't posted it yet, but that's okay. You've taken a big step, you've stepped in front of that camera, you've pressed record and you have gone for it. Bit of advice before doing this, I would say build up your energy. Get big energy in the video. This is extremely hard to do. I don't talk like this normally. I don't wave my arms and talk with my hands and move my full face, face to make facial expressions. This is not what I do normally. I have to build up my energy for the video. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go into it now. You're gonna be put off and you're gonna see how boring it is. But I'll talk about this. Yeah, I, I post YouTube videos. I, yeah, I like to go for a drink with my friends and family. This is kind of what I like to do. This is my life. Now you see here, now you see how that's quite boring. Now on the day to day, that's quite normal. When you talk to people, they're okay. But on video, your energy levels are compressed. You put in a 10 out of 10 for your energy and it will look like a six out of 10 for your energy on video. I don't know why it happens, it just happens. So you really need to up your energy before you start recording. Up the energy. What I do to up my energy, this might be quite helpful for you, is I put some cold water on my face, really shock me. I also do a Wim Hof breathing exercise. I'm quite a spiritual guy, but Wim Hof breathing exercises really saturates my body full of oxygen full of energy and this is a weird one but i always usually when i finish that and i'm full of energy and fully saturated with oxygen throughout my body i then play a song that really 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 upbeat song right right now this is probably very topical and might really age terribly but right now there's the pedro song that you hear it pedro 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 this one so when i finish my wim hof i play that song or something, or maybe the Friday then song. Play that song, it really gets me upbeat and I'm ready to go, I'm ready to start recording and bring that energy in front of the camera. You might think it's cheesy, but it works for me. What works for you is okay too, but get your energy up before you press record. Get big energy on the camera. Talk with your face, move your whole face like this. You're moving your whole face, not like I, even if I move my arms still and create that energy, even if I move my arms still and create that energy, look at my face, it's barely moving. But if I move my whole face, it brings a lot of energy and a lot of enunciation out in the video. So talking with your face and talking with your hands is a really good idea because it really does depress it when it goes on to film. If I started talking like this in weird life, my friends and family would think I was a weirdo. But on camera, it looks normal. Even looking back at yourself and watching yourself, which should be really cringeworthy, it's normal to see me on camera talking with my face and talking with my hands. So press record, get your energy up, talk with your face and hands and get your message 
across and clearly enunciate your message to the world. Now you've recorded your video, it's now time to start editing that video. This is the most time consuming, it's brutal, it is brutal. So I'm trying to work my way through this to try and do as little editing on videos as possible to try and streamline your editing. But your priorities when editing, you should edit the sound first, the sound on your video to your liking, edit it, play around with the volume, play around with different things, get the volume to your liking. This again is the highest impact thing. People can deal with a terrible video with not much color and not much going on in the video. But if the sound is bad on the video, people often click off because they just can't take the sound hitting their ears in that way. Second priority, adjust the lighting and the way you want your video to look. After you've done the sound and the lighting, start cutting little bits out of your video. Are you going on a tangent and talking about something that is not valuable to the viewer? Remove the things that are not valuable. You want to create as much value and compress it into a, into a video, into a space for someone to watch. That's what you're trying to do here by cutting the video, putting those little bits out, all those ums and ahs, and maybe every time you say the word so, I'm going to tell you this, so this happens, I'm going to tell you this, so this happens. Cut all these little bits out and compress that knowledge into the smallest possible video that you can. People see a video and if it is too long, they may not click on it and the short of the video, the more likely they are to click on the video and watch the video. So compress the knowledge and the value that you're bringing to the viewer. Once you have your sound, your lighting, and you've compressed the size of the video, now go nuts. It's up to you what you wanna do with editing at this point, play around with the free editing software. For me, I use Canva for my thumbnails. I should have mentioned that earlier. I use Canva. It's a free editing software. And also I use CapCut. Uh, another video, video editor called DaVinci is also good, but I've never used that one. I use CapCuts. Again, they try to upsell things to get me to join the pro membership. But I don't do that. I just use the things that are available free on there when it comes to video editing. But start playing with the Canva for your thumbnail, start playing with your video, video editing, but be careful when video editing. If you start adding too much in the video, you're creating a lot of work for you downstream later on. If you are creating a commitment to having highly edited videos, you're gonna to have to spend more time on that. So if you can streamline your editing process to the simple things that you need to do and then post your video, that is my game plan because I think posting more videos and creating more value is better than editing these videos. Maybe later on, once we're monetized on YouTube and I create some kind of income from YouTube, I will maybe outsource that editing to someone else. So then that can bring more stimulating viewing to the viewer. I do believe my, my channel is based on value. It's a value added channel. I want to add value to your life. I don't want to stimulate your brain in the sense of, oh, look, pretty colors. I want to stimulate, stimulate your brain with value. That's my plan for this video so my editing is going to be streamlined now when it comes to video editing when your video is 80% right 80% how you want it this is that is ready it's good to go do not get stuck in inertia wanting to get this 100% perfect the stars will never align for you so if it is 80% right but there's a few things in there you're like mm, I don't know about it forget about it it's 80% right, it's ready to post. This is the time it's ready to post. You've edited your video to 80% correct. Now is the time to post the video. You created the script, you recorded the video, you created your thumbnail, you're ready to go. Now going back to your YouTube channel, go to your YouTube channel and post your first video. Do not worry, almost no one is going to view this video. It is fine, it's okay, it's meant to be this way. Your first video might even suck but your next video, I promise you, will be better. It will get better and better and better. And just keep repeating this process. Go through these steps and repeat this process. If you start to forget the process and going through it in the most optimal order, come back to this video. Save it in your favorites, keep it as like, keep re-watching it and use this structure. I'm sure once you've watched it, I'll put it into practice two or three times, you've probably got it memorized at that point and you probably no longer need to watch this video anymore then because you know the correct order for you to post that video, to create your thumbnail, to record, post the video. After you've posted your first video, that's it. You need to rinse and repeat. Remain consistent. For myself, I am 
consistently going to post a minimum of two videos every single week. So remain consistent, repeat, your, your next video will be better, my next video will be better than this one, it will just co continuously keep improving. Now, if you're still anxious and still not sure how to start, if you are interested in watching my journey from the beginning, watch this video here, see how I started my journey and binge my journey from the very, very beginning.